Michael Locke is Montreal's most famous flamenco guitarist. He's performed around the world, cut more than 20 CDs, and all of his concerts at Place des Arts sell out. But there's another side of Michael Locke you probably don't know about. He also plays a mean game of snooker. The snooker was a, always a fascination with me, and, and uh, music was my love. There's a lot of very... Uh, renowned musicians that uh, throughout history that have had a tremendous passion uh, for, for snooker or billiards and who were also very good at it. We know of Mozart. He used to hum uh, while playing and he, he says actually in his biography that uh, the movement of billiard balls corresponded to the movement of certain musical pieces in his mind. So he's always writing and humming down melodies, and apparently he played every day. The great jazz guitarist um, Django Reinhardt was an absolute champion at the game. Rubinstein, the world-renowned pianist, said he never missed an afternoon of his favorite game, and there's actually quite a few others. By the time I was 13, I was uh, playing professionally. I wasn't hustling. I was performing exhibition matches for Brunswick uh, snooker tables and so I was good at it I could easily make money at it and uh, that helped me finance my, my uh, musical education at the same time you know my uh, passion for music was increasing and I, I just decided to go with the music <laughs> The connection is probably the concentration. Both require tremendous, uh, a tremendous amount of concentration. Let me try that again. Sometimes it's also frustrating because I can't do what I, what I used to do on the circuit table, but you do have to make choices in life, you know, and music, uh, I think it's for your soul, it's infinitely more satisfying, even though maybe snooker is somewhat more fascinating for your mind. <laughs>